Hi, it's Paul Roscoe with the Education Foundation, and we're here at the primary school with Mrs. Bagby, and their, their gardening class is going on here, and she's with Stephanie Berryhill. Stephanie, what is going on here? Today, we're setting up a can of worms, which is a worm compost system, uh, where you use the manure of the worms, and uh, it makes a, a, the perfect and the most richest organic fertilizer that, that uh, in the world. And you have a bag of worms? <laughs> you had a bag of worms there? There were 2,000 worms 2, in worms. this bag. So there are 2,000 worms going into our beginning of our vermicompost system. And then you'll take this, these worms and put them out into the garden, your garden area. Actually, we won't take the worms out. The worms are going to be creating compost. Right. What we're doing is we're actually creating a self-contained environment to employ these worms to do what their relatives um, in the in the uh, in the garden do uh, naturally. So the worms will be uh, kept in this can of worms uh, vermicompost system. Uh, they're bedded in coconut fiber. They'll be fed by the students here and uh, Mrs. Bagby and other teachers uh, will give them scraps, uh, vegetables, vegetable peelings, um, and they'll also be giving them, which is the nitrogen, mm -hmm. and they'll also be giving them uh, carbon, carbon sources like paper, egg, eggshell, um, coffee grounds, and um, in about probably a, a year, they'll have some really nice, uh, rich worm manure, which is called vermicompost. And then they'll take that manure and then spread it out onto their garden area? Right, there's three different ways that they can use that. They can use it as a dressing to apply around some really nice special plants like tomatoes. Uh, they can use it as a seed starter. They can use, uh, they can uh, take the finished worm manure, worm uh, compost, and mix it in with peat and start seeds in, uh, for tray seeding. Or um, it can also be used um, as a foliar applicant. You can take, a, there's a drip, there's a catch tray at the bottom of the system. There's liquid that falls through and there's a, there's a tap on this system. And so uh, they can drain the system and dilute the, the liquid and use it directly. Uh, they can use it uh, full strength, uh, which you probably would want to do, or it can be diluted and applied, uh, just like you know you would miracle grow. Mm -hmm. But this is like you know a thousand times better yeah, than miracle. The miracle students grow. should enjoy doing this. It's something they'll learn, you know, about fertilization of the plant, you know, the garden area. So it's good. it should be a good project for them. Right, and it's totally sustainable. It's organic. No chemicals are involved, and, and this is the best type of fertilizer that you can possibly use to to help uh, what kind of worms are these again? These special worms or they're red wiggler worms okay very good I appreciate you talking with us and look forward to seeing uh, the accomplishments of the students and uh, how does your garden grow mrs Bartbeck? we're excited here at Omogi primary with our children's garden with the collaboration and partnership from the muskogee food sovereignty initiative we're very appreciative to Ms. Mary Hill to bring out this system, teach us how to use it, give us some guidelines on how to keep it, and we're just excited about looking to see our garden grow strong and healthy with our new compost system. Okay, thank hey. you very much. Appreciate it.